So Virat sir, you have been majorly into advertising photography and fashion photography. You have worked for big brands like McDonald's, l and Mahindra. So if a photography aspirant wants to get into advertising photography, how should one begin? Advertising photography has a huge scope. You know, this is an ever-growing line and especially in today's time, you know, even a small entrepreneur, whether it is a small entrepreneur or whether it is an MNC firm, they realize that image plays a very important role in, in their product positioning, in advertising their products, in creating their brand image. So there is a lot of scope when it comes to photography and advertising, you know, so uh, the pictures after photography are used in brochures, they are used in websites, they are used in catalogs, they are used yes. at dealers end, they are used at on, you know, different sales operating points and of course in digital advertising, in print media advertising. So there is, once your work gets published, I am telling you that there is an immense sense of contentment that you get when you see your work really, you know, in the market getting published because I have felt that, you know, I have short campaigns and when you see your work, you know, in a big like 20 feet holding, you know, you feel like you've done something, you've really achieved it. So that gives a really great sense of achievement. And uh, so see, when a photographer wants to seek advertising as their genre, they should understand advertising as a whole and the role of photographer in advertising. Right. Okay. So we here, you know, in FTP, what we're doing is we're telling them what is advertising. We're telling them advertising basics. We're also teaching them, you know, how a photographer should interact with different people in advertising industry. For example, when a photographer is interacting with creative art director, what is the kind of language that he uses? When his photographer is interacting with the client, how he should, you know, uh, uh, talk about the project. And one thing that I want to tell is that, you know, no matter how much amount of theory you learn in the classrooms or you see tons of YouTube channels and, you know, tips over here and there, reading and over and there, on field, when you are actually on the shoot, there are on-ground challenges mm -hmm. there, you know, and you have to overcome that with your sense, okay, that you have to develop through practice. So in my, when, whenever I am teaching that, I always share my insights, you know. These are the practicalities there where you face the problems. Okay, it's not about that, you know, there is just one, two, three light setups and then you shoot. No, it doesn't happen like that. You know, there are, there are, there are many, many factors. You have to control the team. You have to control the art direction team. You have to control the makeup team. You have to listen to the client. You have to direct the model. You have to direct the actors. You have to also ensure that, you know, you have to complete that entire concept in a given time. So it's not just the role of a photographer. It's like a director directing a particular scene. Okay. He's a captain. Yeah. He's a captain of the entire crew and he has to take command of all these things in charge. So it's not that you are looking into the, through the camera lens and you're just looking in at the picture. There are other things behind the scenes. This is one aspect. The other aspect is that there needs a lot of preparation, you know, and that has to uh, have a certain process. So that we teach them, we teach the students that how you have to prepare yourself during the shoot. So like I said, you know, one thing is that they have to learn it. They have to understand insights from a good mentor who is actually working. And once they understand the insights, they understand the hurdles and the challenges. Actually, that helps them, you know, if, if just after pursuing their course, they're able to either pursue a job or pursue a freelance assignment in advertising because they know where they can fall. Right. You know, they, they know where are the pits. Okay. And how to overcome them. Getting that? Yeah. Okay. So, there is a certain process, you know, you understand the, you understand the advertising uh, industry as a whole, you understand the technicalities, you understand the aesthetics. You understand the process and most important is delivery because in today's time you know even you are best but you're not delivering on time and you're not delivering a good result your client won't be repeated absolutely okay and to deliver you know a best results you have to ensure that you know uh, you have to understand clients you have to understand brief so all these things as you know uh, is 
uh, very important when somebody is pursuing advertising Photography. as their you know genre and uh, this itself is a very huge topic but one can definitely start and there is immense of scope in terms of advertising photography. So there is huge scope but you need that holistic learning to be able to deliver. Exactly. So thank you Virat sir. Welcome. So friends that was all for today. Stay tuned for more photography tips. And if you are interested in pursuing photography or knowing more about photography courses, click the link below in the video description.